Hi everybody, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. So here we're gonna look at diaphragm. Diaphragm is one of those areas that tend to get ebbed up on a lot of people. We talk about neck, C345, keeps the diaphragm alive, phrenic nerve, a lot of low back, patients with low back pain will kind of um, inhibit, well, you're not inhibiting it, but it's called a facilitated diaphragm where everything gets tight in an area, think of it as a muscle. The way you examine it is you go in and you go across the ribs and you can go over, cross it back and forth, and that's a, it's a reflex, right? If I do it, Kim has it, I think, on this side as well. Yeah. You can see how she jumps. So you're taking, basically taking your fingers going across the lower, lower six to nine ribs and going up and down, and you'll feel that raking of the ribs, and you'll get that response. The other part you can do, and we'll see if Kim has that, is you can go next to longissimus in the low back. So if I found my fingers are on this level, longissimus, and if I go across and I go just lateral to it where ribs 11, 10, 11, 12 are, I go across. She's not so bad, but you'll see that little bit of reaction to it. So what do we do about that? You make sure no, they don't have any other medical issues where you can't work in the abdom, abdom, abdominal area. So you have two options. One is a technique. We could teach them how to call, turn your head and cough. So what we could do is we could, if I want to work on this side, I tell Kim, what you do is turn your head that way. She is, you stretch onto the scalenes, which pulls on the ribs. And then you have her reach down with this hand towards her ankle. That shortens up this side. And now what you do is you have her take a deep guttural cough and relax, perfect, and come back. So what you're doing is you're making it contract and relax. So if it worked, it might not be enough for one, and then we'll show other techniques we can go in there. Still a little bit, not as much as she was, right? So we can have her repeat that. Or if we wanna go further, we can do what's called a, a flick. So we can go in and our fingers on the diaphragm, come through here. Kim, we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here. As you breathe in, we're gonna do a little bit of a flick. It's gonna feel weird. Okay. Won't hurt, but just gonna feel bizarre. Okay, so I get into here, let her relax a little bit, let me in there a little bit. Good, take a deep breath in all the way in, and then bring it all the way out, further, 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 and then you come and cough a bit. So you get the diaphragm to do a quick, a quick release, like a recoil technique. And if I go back in, and if I go into Kim, now there's no response. So typically what will happen, then you'll start to see, we should have done that earlier, her rib, mo the rib cage mobility will get a lot better because the diaphragm's not holding. We didn't do this side. We see if Stim Kim still has that response. So I'm gonna come around to here and again show you what I was doing. So let Kim have both sides. So we worked on it. I went across the rake, across the ribs. Kim jumped. We turn your head and cough. Don't cough yet. Turn your head that way. Take this hand and reach down to your ankle. Okay, Kim, then you're gonna do a big guttural cough. <coughs> that was good. <laughs> come back. And then we could see, hey, you know, if we did it again, we go across those ribs and you wanna see, did, is it still as jumpy as she was? He's still a little bit jumpy, so we'll show you what the manual technique was. So I'm coming here, find the rib cage. Relax, let me get in there. Good. As my fingers dive in, what I'm gonna do is have you take a deep breath in. And my fingers come out all the way out. And then I'll do a little bit of a flick. Kind of a weird feeling. Come on this side so we could show it to you. And then we went in and to see across the ribs, and now we go across Kim's ribs on both sides and we don't have any reaction. And the nice part now, she has a better mobility through her trunk. So it's really good on people. Sometimes that's the first place I'll start when people have this chronic issues where we don't know why and they're so, body is so ebbed up. No matter what you do, they jump off the table. All right, hope that helps. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. See you next time.